Steve, I think uh, we're going to get started here. It's, uh, Great. I think people have joined. Uh, again, everyone that's joined our webinar today is um, Advanced Document Capture for Sage. We're going to have Steve Bowles presenting, and my name is Orlando Ferrer from Informed Decisions. We've been in business since 1994, an electronic document management company that has been um, around for a while here in all sorts of industrial areas and enterprise level uh, businesses across the board. So, Steve, uh, take it on and um, let me know as right. we go if you need anything along the way. Yeah, sounds great. Uh, how am I coming through? Loud and clear? Yep, perfect. Okay. All right. Th thanks, Orlando. Thanks, everybody, for joining today. Um, as Orlando mentioned, my name is Steve Bowles, and today I'll be talking about advanced document capture for Sage and and uh, how we can actually help you with our capture application to, to move towards a paperless office, or what I like to call an office with less paper. So Orlando gave you a quick uh, a quick shot of who Inform is. We do uh, every all types of document automation, uh, both on the IBM I series as well as Open Platform for Windows. Um, everything from forms, workflow, capture, document management. If you haven't had a, ch a chance to go check out the website, go look at some of the different things that we offer. Today we'll focus on capture, though. So from an agenda perspective, it's it's a short webinar. Hopefully, keep your attention the whole time. I'll, uh, I promise no death by PowerPoint. I'm going to give you a few slides, talk a little bit about the paper problem and how we can help you solve that. And then we'll jump into a demonstration and I'll show you some, some key uh, demos of how the product can actually help you. So <clears throat> if you walk into any office today, um, you see stacks of paper, whether it's on individual desks, on top of file cabinets, um, the, probably the, the most paper-laden place is, uh, is the accounting department. We all know that paper kills efficiency. It's, it's very difficult to process. Um, it can be painful. You can lose documents. So what I want to focus on today to start with is just some of the actual costs associated with dealing with paper. Um, a lot of the customers that we go to look for ways to justify a purchase of the software and and to find out a way to shift their organization from paper to paperless, this will give you some of that ammunition to, to justify the purchase and the implementation of the, of the product. So there's a ton of organizations that have done research on what it actually costs to process paper. If you look at just the cost to file documents, so an invoice comes in, a contract comes into your organization, Maybe you're a construction organization that's scanning specs or, um, or design drawings. Taking that paper, processing it, putting it into a file room, creating a folder, all takes time and months. Now, on average, it's about $20 just to file a document. Now, we've all gone to the file room and looked for a document and have not been able to find it, whether somebody's taken it out put it on their desk, uh, whether they've removed a folder, whether it's been misfiled. It can really cost a ton of money to uh, find misfiled documents as well as reproduce documents. Maybe you need to call a vendor and have them resend an invoice. So these costs are real costs that have been proven over time. So it's very expensive to deal with, uh, with paper documents. You know, typically when you look at the most pain in an organization, it's usually in the accounting department. About 75 to 80 percent of all invoices still come in via paper to organizations, and there's a ton of challenges around those types of documents. So in accounting, uh, dealing with paper can increase your cycle times from a payment processing perspective, can uh, make you be late in some cases and not be able to take, take advantage of early paid discounts. Also, with the amount of paper that's flowing into an organization, typically there's a lot of errors from a data entry perspective, and those can take time and money to resolve. All different types of departments in the organization can uh, incur shipping and mail costs, whether you're sending large-scale plans from branches or construction sites to offices, whether you're taking uh, documentation and shipping materials from your warehouses back to HQ whether you're using courier services. There can be some serious costs around shipping and mail 
that can really uh, translate to some great cost savings when you look at the paperless office and document scanning and capture. Searching. Um, imagine being able to pull up a document um, just by typing in key search criteria or a date range. Physical searching for documents can be really, really painful, especially if you've got an audit, some type of legal issue, where you're going and reproducing these documents for handing over to a third party. One of those audits or legal uh, issues can actually pay for one of these systems right out of the gate. Now, the final one that, that we're all familiar with is, is the cost of archive and storage. Um, Long-term storage costs can be quite prohibitive, whether it's on-site, you've designated specific rooms or specific areas in your companies for file storage, and things just continue to grow and grow and grow. Um, file cabinet space, the average file cabinet with the space to open a drawer takes up about 12 square feet of floor space. So you can reclaim that space and actually uh, and use it for other purposes. And finally, a question that we like to ask our clients, um, everybody backs up their digital uh, entities. Their, uh, their line of business software gets backed up nightly. They store their tapes off site. But if you ask a department or any business what their backup strategy is for their paper documents, and if they could continue business if there was a fire or a flood or some other type of issue, um, typically they scratch your head and look at you. And that paper is critical to doing business. So um, those costs are, are somewhat hidden, um, but can, can seriously add up if you have some type of disaster event. So I've given you all these different costs, uh, the pain of dealing in, in, uh, in paper. So how do we fix it? Is there a solution that we can, we can go ahead and implement to, to fix these types of things? There's a number of different ways to do it, but what we really find is the first step is what we call document capture. So this slide I routinely use in my sales presentations and, um, it's actually an overview of what I call the capture equation. So any business that you walk into has paper, scanners, copiers, fax machines. You've got uh, maybe cameras that are taking digital pictures. Maybe from Sage or from your IBM uh, back end, you're producing um, PDFs out of your ERP system. So the goal is how do we capture those, extract information, process them, and then move them to the other side of the equation. Now on the other side of the equation, you could have a, a SAGE system. Maybe you have a database that you use for reporting. Maybe you're using SharePoint for certain things within your organization. The key is that on-ramp or that capture software that sits between the source of the documents and the back-end system. And that really provides some powerful advantages. So when you add that capture process, there's three key areas that we, we uh, can really provide improvements in. Standardization, efficiency, and integration. So standardization is one of the key areas that we can really help in. And the example I like to give is if, if you walk into any organization and hand 10 people the same document and say scan this, they're all going to do it differently. They're going to name it differently, put it different places. Some people save it in their email, some save it on the network, some save it on their desktop. What Capture provides is that ability to have a repeatable process. No matter who scans the document, it gets processed the same way and the end result is the same, okay? Now efficiency, those of you who scan documents with a copier or with a scanner know that it can be very inefficient. If you walk up to a scanning device with 20 documents, you have to scan each one individually, open them, rename them. It can be quite painful. What Capture software does is it adds an automation layer. So you can automate that process, auto extract information, and then route the document wherever you need it to go, as well as the data. You can take that data and throw it into Sage. So really the goal of that is just to um, most of the time, most users that scan documents have real jobs that they do, and scanning is just part of that day, that's uh, part of uh, an action that takes up time. We give you the ability to automate, make that really efficient. And lastly, integration. So the ability to tie into corporate systems and use other data 
while you're processing documents. An example might be if you're scanning purchase orders and you want to uh, process those and then give a file to Sage, maybe doing a real-time lookup of the vendor based on a phone number or a drop-down list that has all your vendors from your ERP system, okay? So those are the three different focus areas that we'll talk about today. And when I show you in the demo, you can see how we can help in those different areas. So one of the things that, uh, that's nice about the product that we offer is uh, the capture software can work with any back-end system, okay? So whether I want to capture information to Sage and provide an import file that I can bring into my ERP system or my line of business or my accounting system, I've also got the ability to send documents and or data to just about any content system, okay? Whether you're using SharePoint or Google or Dropbox or any of these content management systems, whether you just want to pull information and throw it into a, a SQL server, an Oracle server, or you want to extract, let's say, geo information if you're a construction company from pictures and throw it into a mapping database. All those things can happen with a single product that we provide, okay? So that's a quick overview of the pain of paper, the costs associated, and how it can really impact your business from a standardization, efficiency, and integration perspective if you bring this paperless capture technology in. So now that I'm done with the presentation, let's kick into the demo and show you how everything works. So this is the Capture product, and it's, it's called SciCapture. And uh, the, the product actually um, can be run in a number of ways. It can be run interactively on your desktop. You've also got the ability to run it in automated mode. We have customers that never actually see this interface. So to give you an example of the types of things that I'm talking about, um, I can walk up to a copier with one of these cover sheets or a network-based scanner color in some boxes, say in this example, this is a, a human resources example for a union that uses the product, where they color in an ID number, check a box for the type of document, slap it on top, press the green button on the copier, it gets picked up, we read the data, extract the type of document, and then route it to a repository with the information we need, okay? So this is one example of an automated process. Okay. By the time the user gets back to their desk, things have been auto-processed, archived, and information extracted. So that's one example. Another example, this is, um, this is one that uh, a large construction company uses. And just to put this in context, they've got a number of construction sites across the U.S. that are active at any one time. And in the construction trailers, one of the challenges they had is managing the certificates of insurance for sub on the job. This cover sheet, okay, has information about the type of document in a barcode, the job number, the division, as well as the category. So as these documents come in at the construction site, they can pick up these cover sheets, slap them on the document, fax them or scan them to headquarters, and they get auto-processed and post it into the system with all the data for the subcontractor, okay? So those are just a couple examples of automated processes that happen. I don't like to show those in demos because they're, uh, they're magic. I drop things in the directory, they get picked up in auto process, kind of a, a smoke and mirrors behind the scenes type of thing, okay? The demos that I'm gonna focus on today are interactive. I'm going, to, I'm going to show you a few different ways that you can process documents from the desktop with the product that can really add some efficiency to, uh, to your organization. So let's start. On the left-hand side, you've got all the different steps that can be performed with the product. To kick off a capture process, I can click on my capture icon. And the product's going to prompt me to the types of documents that I want to process. Now, I've got a bunch of documents. For an, an accounting department, you might have one or two. For, a, um, uh, let's say, a, a plans or a contracts department, you can have your own that define how documents get processed. So what I do in the demo, I'm going to start off simple, and I'm going to get more complex as I go down the line. 
So the first example I'm going to show you, we'll go ahead and import um, some documents, and in this case, they're invoices. And one of the nice things about the product is that I can import documents from directories. So if you scan or your fax server drops documents into a directory, you can pick up one or multiple documents and import them. You can even import entire directories. So if you have a pre-existing store of documents that you want to process, we can suck them in, process, extract data, and then route them to a repository depending on where you'd like them to go, okay? Now, one thing I can do as well is I can switch back and forth from imported documents to a Direct Connect scanner. So I can do either for existing documents or paper that I want to scan on my desktop. Let's kick off a capture process. One thing that we do with the product is that uh, we're a batch-centric product. So a batch is just a group of documents that we import and process. These batches can be reported on. You can run reports on users, how many documents were captured. So it's really nice from an auditing perspective as well if you want to go back and run reports on your, your overall capture process. So in this example, I'm going to click Go, and it's going to import these documents. And you'll see I'm bringing in a single PDF, but it's actually going to split these into individual invoices. And you can see now that I have three invoices. Now I can do some data entry here in the capture module, but I'm actually going to move on and let the product do a little bit of work for me. So in this example, the product's smart enough to automatically identify the vendor based on characteristics of the page. Now, whether that's the name of the vendor or a phone number, there's lots of different ways that we can process and move on through the uh, through the sequence here, okay? So you'll see here, it's going to go ahead and do a little bit of, of processing here and there, and, and a lot of this can happen in the background in the demonstrations. I just let it go so I can show you how things work. So you notice here on this first invoice, I've auto-determined the vendor. So just by looking at the layout of the document and the, the text that's on it, I pull off the information. Now, these fields can be populated in a number of ways. I can hand type them. I can bring information from a database. In this example, I'm going to show you the simplest way, and that is I can point and click at anything on the page and fill in a field. So you can see I click on the invoice number the due date, and the total, and it auto-populates the field. So just this feature alone, the point and click, takes away that hand keying requirement that you'd need to do for other documents. Nice thing is, once I finish with the data on one document, it goes right to the next one in the sequence. So really quickly, I can zip through the document, click on the fields, and populate um, the data fields that I need. Now, these fields, you'll see when I go into some other demos, can be uh, exported into Sage. You've got the ability to kick them out into databases for reporting. I can send the data and the documents to different types of locations. And when I'm done, I click Complete. This next step can be done by the same user or it can be done by another user, like a supervisor. It pops into QA, and in QA, they can see all the work that I've done in a nice spreadsheet representation with a row for each document. So as I go from row to row, you can see the invoice and the right changes. If I wanted to come in and change any of these, if they were erroneously extracted, I could do that. And once I click Done, they get released to, uh, to Sage or any of the other backend systems that we support. So this is one example of the types of process that we can perform. So that's very manual. It's point and click, okay? It's, it's manual intervention. Let's look at some things that are a little bit more automated. So let's take, for example, somebody that's receiving um, uh, items on a loading dock or maybe a warehouse where you've got tick tickets that are being produced that you want to scan for later reference. This example actually brings in a large number of these tickets, and the goal is to extract the ticket number, 
put in today's date, which you see was automatically entered, and then a location, which can also be automatically entered. So in this example, I'm going to let the product do the heavy lifting. Now what it's doing, it's examining each of these documents and looking for that 16-digit ticket number automatically. Now I can use this on tickets, bills of lading, I can use it on contracts to search for information. You'll see the familiar quality assurance interface that presents all the information that was auto extracted. And you can see I can arrow down and you see it automatically found those 16 digit ticket numbers, pulled the information off. So there's no hand keying at all here. All right. Now I could run this process fully automatic with no intervention at all. I can put in validation that says if you don't find the ticket number, alert me. Um, I can check the ticket number on a database to make sure it exists. So there's a lot of different things I can do here from an automated perspective. So this is one example. And once again, when I click done, I can release that information to, uh, to Sage or another backend system. So let's do this. Let's go uh, one more. I'll show you the next, another example of automation, and then I'll get fully automated with output and show you what, what the end result looks like. Now this particular example was built for um, an assessor that wanted to assess uh, large format drawings. I know that we have some construction and some design firms out there in the audience. So I just wanted to show this. This is a scan document that in this case has a number that we want to extract up in the upper left-hand corner. Now, once again, I could walk up to a copier, put these documents in, click the green button, and let the product automatically extract that information. Now, in this case, it's, it's a parcel ID, but it could be a, a spec number, a contract number, a design ID, and you'll see that it automatically finds that number in the upper left-hand corner and pulls the information off, all right? So it makes it really easy to scan without that manual data entry. Okay. Now the last example I'm gonna show you is probably one of the most complex. And this particular one, we're gonna do all kinds of fun stuff. So this is another invoice example, but this could be applied to purchase orders, contracts, and what the product's going to do is bring in these invoices, and I'm going to send it through the process. It's going to identify the vendor, pull off all the critical information automatically. It's going to read the line items and extract them, and then it's going to output those to a folder as well as output the data in a format that can be imported right into SAGE. So let's go ahead and let it proceed. You'll see it's going to zip through here and, and work its magic. Once again, as an optional step, it's going to pop me into quality assurance where I can actually see the first invoice had two line items, as did the last invoice. It auto-extracted all the data for me automatically. It identified the vendor automatically. And when I click Done, it's going to make these searchable PDFs create a nice, pretty file folder structure for me based on the information that was extracted and output a stage import file for me, okay? So the end result in the directory is I had it automatically build folders based on the vendor name. I had it automatically create a subfolder for the year and automatically name the files vendor underscore invoice number. So I can take any of that information that I collect and use it to create folders as well as file names automatically, okay? No hand naming, no creating folders individually. And the other powerful viewpoint here is that I also created an import file for Sage. And this import file has all the line item data for these particular invoices, okay? So I can create that import template, bring these in automatically, 
and take away a lot of the hand keying effort that's required. And I can use this um, with the template functionality from an import perspective in Sage on pretty much all the different products, and I can use it for individual uh, line item orders, I can use it for invoices, pretty much anything you'd like to, you can bring in um, based on these tech import files. Okay. So that's the end of the presentation in a nutshell. I I've given you a quick overview of the paper pane, what it costs your company or your organization. I talked about the capture solution and how that on-ramp can really create some efficiency standardization and provide integration into the systems. And then I gave you a demo as well. Now, I'll open it up for questions really quick and, and see if we have any uh, there. Uh, we've got uh, about three minutes left for questions from the audience. Orlando, have you seen any questions? Yeah, coming? I sure do. I sure do, Steve. Um, let me just expand this out. Sorry, folks. Okay, that's more. Um, for batch scanning, to use a paste separator, um, what type of uh, what type does this support? Is the question. Sure. Yeah. So um, th this product, um, from a separation perspective, supports just about anything you'd like to do. So I can do separation with barcode separators, but I've also got the ability to split based on page characteristics. So if you're scanning, let's say, um, uh, bills of lading, I can look for a bill of lading number and change automatically when that number changes. I can use classification to separate. So you saw with those invoices I brought in, there's no separators in there. The product's smart enough to know when an invoice begins and when it ends and automatically split the document. So there's a lot of different options from that perspective. Another question that came in was also, are all the features that you just demonstrated part of the core product? Yeah, the, the way the product is, is sold is there's different bundles. And it goes from um, just a standard bundle up to what we call the, the premium bundle. And the different bundles have different uh, features um, depending on your needs. And, and what we can do if you're interested is our sales folks can follow up with you and, and figure out which bundle is appropriate for what you're trying to accomplish. If you buy the top level bundle, you get everything that I've shown you today um, uh, out of the box. Okay. Um, we got a confirmation question as well um, to confirm we use SharePoint. Can you share the scanned documents with SharePoint? Absolutely. So, um, Site Capture is actually used by Microsoft uh, in their legal department, and they've actually helped us build um, uh, an amazing integration with um, all different flavors of SharePoint. And I'll get a little geeky here because I like to, to show um, a lot of the power of the product, but in the SharePoint integration, um, it is very detailed. You can control everything from the library to content types. You can control um, managed metadata, file naming, everything that's produced is searchable. So it can be indexed and you have full text search capability in SharePoint as well. So very capable SharePoint integration. We also have some more questions here. Can it sync to purchase orders, i.e., recognize multiple line items, part numbers, comparison, is a question. We can actually extract the information. We can, um, if those POs already exist in a database, we can run a lookup on the purchase order and, um, and read the individual line items um, for verification. So you do have the ability to do that. We can also run a lookup on the total. And if the totals don't match, we can flag the document for review. So you do have the ability to do some advanced things like that. Okay. Another question is, what tools use to import data to Sage and what is the setup required? Sure. So we, uh, we have about 63 different output formats that we can support. 
Um, for Sage, we actually output to a, a Sage structured CSV file that can then be imported with the template import configurations. So we have the ability to output that. We can also write data to a database table, and that can be pulled in as well if, if you prefer that method. Okay, and oh, we got one more. Do you support Sage X3? Uh, X3 actually has a CSV import capability, so uh, yes. Okay. Okay. Any other questions? Anybody? That was the last one on the list. Okay. Yeah, we're right, okay. we're about two minutes over. So, but great question. Yeah. <laughs> um, no, that was it. Oh, actually, we we have we have one more. Uh, what about workflow? Um. So the product itself has built in what we call capture workflow. And that workflow just deals with the bits and pieces of the capture process. Now there is some enhanced integration and some, um, some custom coding that you can do within the product to build custom workflow. Uh, but we can also hand documents to external workflow products as well. So if you have an external workflow product, we can provide the data in the document that can get picked up by that process. Okay, okay, good. Well, I think if anybody has any question, any further questions, you can email them over to info at informeddecisions.com and we'll wrap it up for today on our webinar. Thanks, Steve, for a wonderful presentation. Uh, we do appreciate it. If anybody needs more information on this, please feel free to contact us at 949-709-5838, extension option 2. And also, please feel free to visit our website at www.informeddecisions.com. And this presentation will be recorded and put online as well. So if anybody wants to review it or share it with anybody else in your organization, you can. And that will wrap it up for today's presentation. Thanks so, so thank much. Thank you, and look forward to yeah. Look, and by the way, also look forward to future presentations that we'll be having along the way on Sage and other products as well. Thanks very much. Bye bye. All right. Thank you, everyone.